Hi guys, today we're going to talk about something very interesting for most of you. It's uh, Canyon de Shell Shea or Shea. So it's a national monument, and let's start. So I think it's an ancient quarry. Let's uh, check what I'm trying to say. So, Canyon de Chai is national monument reserve, a national uh, reserve or monument in the United States. It's located in northeastern Arizona within the Navajo Reservation. Access to the canyon is limited and visitors may visit it only with a guide, usually because of Navajo. And the only exception to this rule is the tourist trail ruins of the White House. So that's why we have uh, not very much pictures of it. So this is the Canyon Navajo, oh, Canyon de Chai. And what we can see is that the most amazing thing in this canyon is a vertical wall. In addition, they look like they are covered with the plaster, mostly like the same breed as, this, as the arrows themselves. So, as you can see, it's pretty vertical. Okay. Parts of the walls are too smooth to be created by passing waterfalls. Sometimes they're even too flat and looking pretty artificial, not natural. And as you can see, this little drawing here. And sometimes we see these flat sur surfaces, very correct and flat, most likely some places like this, or this one, or even this one. And I pointed the elements that need to be checked, they are smooth and vertical. It is understood that the rest was erased by the erosion and these areas still remain smooth and flat. And we see those lines, strange lines, I would say. So, let's check some more pictures and try to think what could have caused that This is could have been caused by some excavator, rotor excavator machines, or maybe something like that. And they say it was caused by river flows, water flows, and stuff like that. But look at this river. It's I see only a stream, spring in fact, and uh, looks just like a spring, nothing else. If this was a river it would be uh, still a river I think but maybe I'm wrong but when I see these pictures I can understand that this could be done only with rotor excavator and stuff like this and when I see this type of thing it reminds me one one else one thing one thing else it's when they did this soil take away jobs and they like cut the soil and they left these little rocks of soil uh, to calculate and measure how many how much soil was was the volume of the soil that was actually sold and uh, as you can see there's another picture that's how they measured how many uh, perfect soil or black soil as they call it in Russia was actually sold. So that reminds me when you leave this type of elements here, here, here. So I'm just speculating but why not. So uh, I want you guys to write comments and ask me questions. This one gonna be short and
and maybe uh, I'll soon come up with some more electricity videos and looking forward for some mud flood videos and Antarctica videos so uh, subscribe to my channel you always be and always be ready to find out some more interesting facts that you never even heard before and open your eyes guys bye